A multi-billion dollar industry. Yet challenges continue for women gamers. In 2022, there were approximately 39.9 million gamers in the UK. By June 2023, approximately 47% of those gamers were female. There is obviously the in-game abuse. We receive a lot of hate. Some of them a lot worse than others. Things like sexual violence. Little kisses down the make and stuff. I generally try to hide the fact that I'm a woman. <laughs> To help women overcome industry challenges they face in gaming, EE joins forces with Giant X by creating the EE Power Up program. A four-month talent development initiative to shatter barriers and give six gamers a unique insight into pro-level gaming. Right now, I'm heading to the Giant X headquarters in London. Join me, GK Barry, in this series as I meet six women Valorant players who will go on a journey to find out what it takes to get one step closer to making their gaming and esports dreams a reality. Hello. How are we? Hi. Good, thank you. Are we all excited for today? Yes. Yes. I signed up to the programme because I wanted the opportunity to change things for women in gaming um, and women in esports in particular as well. I I've spoken to a lot of girl gamers and I don't think one of them hasn't received abuse. Um, so I have Emmy or myalgic encephalomyelitis. Emmy at its heart is um, chronic fatigue. It's like a bone deep ache and tiredness. And finding gaming was a way for me to claw back some of my life outside of work. Um, How's that? Can you hear me now? to be able to socialise and meet people. It really helped. What is it like being a woman in gaming? It's difficult, I Yeah, think, is yeah. The, the biggest thing to say. Um, mm -hmm. You try and exist in a space that's predominantly run by men. We just get trauma from existing and mm -hmm. appearing on a server and speaking. For example, as well, for like us like, competing game changers, we get like a title. Mm -hmm. um, it's called like VCT Game Changer. So whenever, like, if there's a toxic male in it, if they see the tag, they will just, like, dodge the game or they'll continue it and they'll just be so hateful before you've even said anything or, like, played anything or... Yeah. Oh, you did? You yeah. took yours yeah. off? Yeah, I took mine off. A lot of girls in the scene have taken theirs off because mm -hmm. they just don't want the hate from it, which is so sad because it's supposed to be something that yeah. celebrates, like, mm -hmm. women in gaming. Go back oh to the kitchen. God. <laughs> Every day. Oh, hey, what's your Snapchat? as she holds that weapon. She can still sit in the nude store. I can sense she can hold your weapon any day. Shut up and play the game, man. When I have to take a break, because I, I'm not very good at dealing with the hate, um, there's also a lot of invalidation of, you shouldn't be here while you're here. I'm hoping to get better mm -hmm. and gain a bit of self-confidence with my gaming. I mean, there's so much you can do in a game that you can't do in real life. And for me, it's sometimes it's as simple as just walking around. <laughs> and. Um, it is, you know, it's a real escape for me. I want to see what the esports industry is like. This will be the first kind of big opportunity I have to, to meet a lot of people within the industry. I really just want to see where I can go. It felt like a once in a lifetime opportunity just because it is so hard for women to find and access opportunities to get into the gaming industry. I think my ultimate goal kind of from this programme is just to really try and become the best kind of version of myself I can be. I've always been really interested in making sure that females are always getting the opportunity to, you know, have their chance in gaming as well. It's because I wanted to show that there is no barrier to gaming. Um, age, gender, anything like that. That Gaming is for everyone. I can't believe, what's the worst interaction you've had? Uh, oh, I don't know if I can repeat it. Yeah, it gets really bad. bad. It's when it's like, very sexually charged and aggressive. Yeah. That's oh. the worst sort of stuff for me personally. Mm. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but like when it turns to that, it's, yeah. it's unnecessary. Just wanted to play a game. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> okay, nice. So welcome to the e Power program in partnership with Giant X. I'm Noisy, an esports manager, former pro player and content creator. And I'm GP, professional Valorant player and content creator also. Are you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. In the coming four months, our mentees will
train like a professional through a skills clinic. Meet a nutritionist to learn about food that will optimise performance. Get into a champion's mindset with the help of a sports psychologist. Go on a trip to watch a live esports match. And finally, compete against esports professionals at the Ultima. A new chapter unfolds as our six aspiring gamers take their first strides into the EE Power Up programme.